Hello YouTube, welcome back. Leave it to Weaver here for another video. Um, this one I have a few notes for. Um, so if you see me looking over, it's because I'm reading and or trying to understand my notes. Um, this one I want to do on diabetes. I did the one on how to take the blood readings and the blood sugar readings and all that. Um, I did replace my batteries, so uh, I have been taking my readings. So um, this one I want to do on actual the cure for diabetes. Yes, I know a lot of people are saying there's no cure for diabetes. That is a false statement. Um, I believe it's since 2021 they have came up with a cure. And all it is is something that's been known for centuries. It's just people have fallen out of the habit of taking care of themselves and stuff like that. And uh, the type of food that we're eating and stuff like that, fast food is killing people fast. Um, but diabetes is definitely absolutely a curable, curable thing. Um, yes, it does uh, run in your family. Um, a lot of it is a lot of uh, pot habits and stuff like that. But basically what it comes down to is diet and exercise. Um, mainly diet. Um, uh, people are focused on sugar when it's probably carbs. Carbs turn to sugar once they're ingested. They, they just become sugar. Uh, I know me, I don't eat a lot of sweets. And I'm completely baffled on why I have type 2 diabetes or I'm borderline diabetic, whatever the doctor says. It's because of the carbs. I eat a lot of carbs. Italian food, bread, potatoes. Love it, love it, love it. So I just have to uh, maintain or uh, manage what, how much I'm intaking. Now, um, diabetes is a dietary disease where the body stores too much sugar. Picture your, your body that has like a, a cup inside it. That's how much your body is supposed to be holding of sugar. Now, when you have diabetes, um, your cup is being overfilled. So it's, it's staying in the blood and it's not going where it's supposed to go. Now, this video is, is based off of type 2 by diabetes, not type 1. Type 1 is juvenile, and that's talking about like insulin, where your body's lacking insulin. This is type 2 diabetes, where you just, you're making enough insulin. It's just you're, you're ingesting too much sugar. Um, now, your body collects... Um, sugar in storage, so the, like we talked about with the cup. Now, when it's full, it collects as body fat. Once it, all that stuff that's overflowing your cup, your reserve is full. It's got nowhere else to go, so it's collecting as body fat. Now, um, you need to fast. There's a doctor that is called... His name is Dr. Jason Fung. Now, if you have diabetes, you need to look this man up. Now, he gives the information away for free. He's all over Facebook. He's legitimate. He's not some nonsense doctor that Facebook made up. Uh, this guy, is, he's for real. He's been proven. Uh, basically, he talks about intermittent fasting to lower your caloric intake um, lower your sugar levels and stuff like that. It's intermittent fasting. Now you different ways to do it. You can do it like time limits, like, uh, you fast for 14 hours and then you prolong it. You, you get used to it. Take it slow. Don't rush into it. Just watch his videos, see what he has to say. But your you, the main point of fasting is to burn the excess sugar. Um, you adjust your diet uh, to less sugar and carbs. Basically, you have more vegetables and, and proteins. Um, as I said before, the, the best way to do it, and I think he, this is how he tells you to start it, you fast for 12 hours. It, it's based off of a 24-hour clock, basically. You fast for 12 hours, you can eat for 12 hours, but you don't. You don't eat 12 hours straight. You, you just eat your meals during that 12-hour period. There's a 12-hour period where you 
are burning your your sugar and fat. And then as you get used to that, you increase the time. Um, uh, it's called it's called um, res restricted eating. Basically, that's fasting. It's intermittent fasting. Um, it's allowing your body more time. Like the more you extend that time period, it's allowing your body more time to burn the sugar in your body, the excess sugar. Um, when you're doing this, you have to pay attention to your body. Trust me, when I started this, I fell into this. I went hardcore. I mean, I went hard and, and I was feeling weak. Like I was feeling fatigued. Don't do it to the point where you, if you're feeling fatigued, eat something. Eat something small. If you feel better, you've pushed your poor, you've pushed yourself too hard. Um, you're doing it too too hard for too fast. Now, also, if you were uh, starting out and you do the twelve hours, and at the end of that twelve hours, you're just engorging yourself. Don't do that. Eat a little bit at a time. Eat a little bit. Sit and wait. Don't just keep going. Sit and wait. You have to listen to your body and be able to pay attention when your body's telling you you're full. Don't overeat. Um, that for me was my hardest point. That because I was I was when I when I first learned I had this I, I I was eating a lot. I was being eating big portions. I didn't pay attention to how much I was eating. I didn't care. But then I found out I had diabetes. So I started paying attention and I'm realizing like I've been raised when I was little, finish what's on your plate. Now I'm putting big portions on my plate. I'm going to eat it all whether I'm full or not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish it. I was taught when I was little that it's rude to leave food on your plate. So I was eating everything and it just kept progressing. I was getting bigger portions. I'm eating all that. Now I, I, I eat a little bit even like... We have dinner with the family. Like, I'll eat a plate. I'll sit and wait. I pay attention. If I fall, I stop. Um, now, I want to move on to the portion of this that talks about medication. Now, my doctor prescribes me metformin. I have yet to take it. I'm trying to maintain it without the medication. If I need a little bit of help, I may take one every now and then to to get it, get the ball rolling but honestly my sugar levels are maintained they're 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 getting lower now if you want to take the medication take the medication me i i i try not to take medications as i don't want to take them let's just say that now when you get to the point where you have diabetes and you're they're prescribing you insulin and stuff like that i'm like this is where dr jason fung steps in he, he's like you do not Type 2 diabetes does not need insulin. Your body's making enough insulin. That's not what type diabetes, type 2 diabetes is. That's type 1. Type 2, your body is naturally making insulin. You are making enough. You do not, you do not need to take insulin. Your, your body's making enough insulin and you're injecting it in you. So basically, you're, you're, you got too much insulin. Insulin is a hormone that tells your body to store sugar and fat. So if your body's already making insulin and you're injecting it in your body, your body's already making enough sugar and fat. It's already doing it. You're injecting it in your body. You're telling it to do it more. So you're, you're gaining weight, even though you're dieting and stuff like that. Insulin is making you fatter. Now, insulin with type 2 diabetes is bad because your insulin is not low. You can't treat a condition where insulin is too high with adding more insulin. You're going to gain weight. There's, there's no arguing that. It's already been proved. Just go online, type in Jason Fung, F-U-M-G. F-U-N-G. This guy will teach you everything you need to know. And I'm not going to go too much further under this. I just wanted to 
do this quick video to do to i'm just trying to educate people man i i've done a lot of research into this and diabetes is bad man but it get, you can take it out um so anyways keep subscribing to my videos keep watching the videos comment and like the videos um so let's keep this ball rolling send it to the internet